Very nice. <laughs> Very creative. Remembrance. It's got a verse in this quilt, so let me zoom in and see if I can. I can't read it because it's so tiny, so hopefully we can see it when it's on camera. It is by Katherine Palmer in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. This one's called Stranger. And this one is called La Mode Mon. I don't know, Profi. It's from Japan. But it has a Paris feel, so I don't know what it's about. I do like when they put information about the quote just a little bit. But it's beautiful. All kind of embellishments are on it. All the little sparkling things you see are embellishments. 3D stuff. These. Would you believe... Uh, guess what that is I don't know if it shows up bigger in this camera but I'm gonna zoom in it's called Celtic migration by Angela Petroselli out of Arizona but let me zoom in on this dark area so you can see what these are these flying geese has got to be um, maybe one inch by a half inch but I don't think that they're that big. Hold on, I gotta zoom in, get you focused here. Oh, look at that. Amazing. Okay, none of them close. I don't think that they're a half inch, I think they're like three eighths, and then whatever three eighths is would be. So three eighths and three eighths is six eighths. Divided by two would be three fourths. So I think they're like three eighths by three fourths. They, they're awfully tiny. I have no idea for real. But I just thought that I would share that with you. I'm trying to zoom out before I go to the next area. Camera battery just started flashing. <laughs> so yes, beautiful quilts. I am already at 17 minutes. <laughs> Time just flies when you're having fun. This is another quilt from Japan. Just beautiful. And then let me show you the sign because I can't pronounce that. This one is also from Japan. It's a tulip quilt. Very nice. So, kind of running out of time. So, I'm just going to show you a few more. Wow. <laughs> this quilt's on point. Let me show you the lock unit. It's just. So, if I turn the camera. So, if I turn the camera, you can see the block unit now. It's like a birds in the air I think it's called I'm not quite sure I could be messing that up this is joy in the journey beautiful 
Yeah, just beautiful work, beautiful colors. I love this person's sense of color. Beautiful quilt again, hand applique. Wow, look at that from over here. Just beautiful. I had some other quilts I'm gonna skip, but I'm gonna go over here and get this picture. It's just too beautiful. It's like they, It's, it looks 3D-ish, and I think it's just the release stitching. There is nothing extra here. No trim is included, but because they quilted everything close to the quarter-inch edge, and then it left a ridge that gives it a 3D-ness of the roses. And it's called Five Roses by Marilyn, somebody out of Canada. <laughs> but beautiful. I'll show you this one since I'm here, and that one. Okay. Now, I am at 20 minutes, and I should have been back at the stall. I'm sure Marion is there now. So, I am going to check in with you guys, hopefully later today. Again, it depends on if it's busy in the booth or not. So, see you soon. Okay, let me start back. I'm going to start back over because I think I did not have the camera on before because it just cut off. So, we are at this exhibit, the 14th Quilt Neon Exhibit, organized by Japan Handicraft Instructors Association. So all of these quilts are from Japan. So. Beautiful quilt on This one's pretty cool. They do have notes on all of these, but I'm tired. It's like 3.45. I'm just kind of ready to go home and <laughs> lay down. But we shall see. I'm gonna try to do like 10 to 15 minutes again of recording so I can get back to the booth. Some of these sections are busy. Look at this beautiful quilt. Now that's a card trick. Beautiful. She calls it card magic. <laughs> Wow, cabin quilts beautiful as well. <laughs> All right, okay, just leave the shirts. You're ready to rock and roll. <laughs> yeah. The year of the bird. This quote's beautiful. You guys aren't until next year, so I'm not sure. Right there. Just gorgeous. I've got one coming up in July and one in September. No more trimming fingers coming off the period. That tells your fingers first. That's beautiful. Now we have a strange. Now we take our ruler guide and adjust to what size we need. I don't want a six inch strip of fabric for my pattern. I need five and a quarter, four and seven eighths, four and a quarter, three and a half, two and seven eighths. 
all the way down the roof. Huh? I want a two and a quarter binding. Let's set it in two and a quarter. I want a two and a half inch jelly roll. Let's make a jelly roll. We'll put that on two and a half. Huh? I think it's a little better. This is a huge exhibit. So we double check. Two and a half, two and a half, two So we we'll take that straight edge, lay that on the mat. Could you take stuff this is slide that up to your fabric? Just one beauty after another. Just beautiful. Judy Martin's wedding ring or yes that style but they did it a little different beautifully done but it is the way that she pieced hers beautiful just gorgeous awesome awesome different. It's oblong instead of circular. Okay. Ring of happiness. 
And this is actually the last quote news exhibit, so I'm getting ready to go down the vendor aisle and don't want to record their booth, so I will chat with you later. <laughs> I'm at my friend's Iowa Star booth, and her husband is acting up. Thank you, ma'am. He's 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 not well behaved. <laughs> no, will I ever be? <laughs> Today is day three of the AQS quilt show. I just wanted to show you this quilt on the back wall here. We are actually going to be going into the third exhibit area in the convention center area. I'm out of breath because I ran up the steps, but see you in the room. So I'm just gonna show you a few of the quilts before yeah. I have to open. I only got about 20 minutes before I'm supposed to be in the booth. But we're in the wall hanging section. I'll show you as much as I can as usual. That's cute with all the circles. I'm still out of breath from running up those steps. I'm getting old. Whew. This is cute too. Wow, good visual impact. We love to know what technique this one is, though. Nice techniques again here. The quilting is really good to make it pop. This is Small Wall Quilt Sculptor's Choice. It was sponsored by Superior Threads, and here are your winners here. Third place. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's an underwater scene. You can see a fish up at the top there. Pretty cool. This is first place. I've seen this before at the Quilter Society show that was in Springfield maybe two or three years ago, something like that. But it has first place. I've always liked this quilt. And this one is second place. Very nice. So now I'm just going to the other side of the aisle. <clears throat> oh, that's pretty cool. I didn't even see that at first, just walking up. Because I'm trying to get as many photos as I can. So I have a feeling I'll be watching this video as well. <laughs> Beautiful. Very nice. Here's the side quilt. I think I got this book with those patterns, I think. Oh, 
This is a one block wonder. At Lincoln. <laughs> Very nice. Here we got some award winning quilts here. Good morning. Good morning. Brother Wall quilt. Good morning, Dad. I don't know, it's a lot written on that ribbon. Best Wall Stationary Machine Workmanship, that's what it is. That's the only thing about working at the show is that you don't really get a chance to see the quilts unless you can get in early. <laughs> so, very nice. And I'm gonna skip and show you the miniatures just because I wanna make sure you get those. These miniature quilts look like full-size bed quilts. They are encased in glass, so it's going to be a glare. But they are beautiful. Cool. This is AccuQuilt's best miniature quilt. Good morning. I didn't know AccuQuilt had dies that little other than circles. So that's pretty cool. And the miniature quilts are sponsored by Baby Lock as well and Janome looks like the only thing about this is that you know they are in the glass so I'd say these pineapple sides are like one eighth of an inch maybe they this is tiny it's got honorable mention and I'm so glad sorry about the glare on the glass but Beautiful whole cloth quilt. Here is first place. Show you some of the up close. Very pretty. Hi. Oh, I love Lucy. Beautiful. Got all the red hair, just gorgeous. This is third place. Beautiful. And I'm not doing this like 50% worth of justice because it is glass. This is Las Vegas pool party with Fernando. Lots and lots of glitter here. Got crystal, um, crystals. Very beautiful. I'm gonna let you see the whole thing, but the lights are not playing fair. <laughs> this is second place. Again, another pineapple, and these logs are again one eighth of an inch. They're not even one quarter, one eighth of an inch. Amazing. Beautiful. Honorable mention. Okay. And now we're going to go ahead and skip. Let me see what time it is first. 
it's 8 43 so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna try to show you they always have an exhibit on the back this is ordinary quilts by judy madison madison and so you can pause the screen and read this and i'm gonna go ahead and go on i'm gonna she's got a whole line of quilts here so i'm just gonna try to get to these quilts and then maybe stop and i'll try to come back either today or tomorrow and finish up like all of these aisles right here have quilts i just came down the first one so i've got at least two more aisles of quilts in the main building and i'm sure there is an exhibit in um the bubble as well so all of these are by judy madsen This one is called In the Metal. This one is Irish Lass. Coming up next to Queen's Cross. Next is Modern Flowers. And I can't even show you this one because it's a little bit bigger than the others all in one screenshot but beautiful this is serendipity diamond in the rough north star This way. This one's called Big Bertha. I'm gonna try to like stand back in the chains and show you as much, but I still can't get it all in. But the quilting on it is beautiful as well. And this next one is called Star Xing. Star with the X dash ING number one. Beautiful. So they are, here is your block right here with a half square. If you focus, the black, the dark brown going through the middle. It's the center of a half square triangle and then she's got a brown strip and then a print. But that is really pretty. But then it gets a little more, well the piecing makes, the quilting makes it look more complicated. But that's exactly what the pattern is. But it's beautiful for her X's and then she's got the stars. Very pretty. And then this is star Xing number two. So the same quilt just in a different colorway and it's kind of like a dark charcoal like dark no it's actually navy blue it looked like it might have been a charcoal gray or something but it's actually navy blue beautiful 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 so I am going to head I'm going to head back downstairs because I've got like less than 10 minutes to get to my booth and I got to get there. So I will see you all hopefully in another shot and I will show you the rest of the wall quilts. I'm back with a quick little clip here. See this lady standing right there? That is Miss Ebony. I'm going to go get a picture.
it is day four of the quilt show. It's the last day, it's Saturday. And the show is from 10 to four today. No, from nine to four today. And I will be helping her break down the booth and then I will be driving home. So I'll be probably home about 10 p.m., 11 p.m. maybe. So that's the agenda for today. I'm going to try to get to the show so that I can walk to the pavilion, which we call the bubble, so that I can see some quilts in there. And then hopefully if I get some breaks, I can go upstairs and finish the wall exhibits. And I'm also looking for Judy Martin's quilts upstairs. I saw Judy Madsen's quilts, but I did not see Judy Martin's quilts. So I also want to see those, and I think those are upstairs in the wall hanging section. I just didn't have a chance to finish that part yesterday. So hopefully we can get to the pavilion. I'm trying to get out, get packed. <laughs> so I've got my luggage here, my cooler packed. I'm trying to get some coffee, got my thermos I gotta get, and then just these items on the bed. So I am ready to go. So I will see you at the show. the bubble and I came in here so I could see the main exhibit quilts and so I see that they've got the Prince quilt display so let me just back up again make sure you saw all the way down to the end all purple just awesome And I'm not going to even try. I'm just going to try to show you as many of these as I can. And then we're going to move on. It's a lot of them. So it's, and I only got a few minutes. It's about 8.15. I had to walk to the pavilion because there's no buses running right now. No shuttle buses. But uh, I need to be back up at the main area when we open at 9. So it's about 8.20 now. This is first place 